board. Morning everyone, if you have not already done your two, hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, to get notifications of my videos. Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do a Sunday video. So you can see we are not in a green field of glory. We're in a golden field of straw. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of our straw harvest, as you call it. So we get our straw from a local arable farmer who's just over there in his New Holland. He combines his crops, he drops his straw, and then we get it in the row. And then we ask Mr. Bartlett to bail them in eight foot with four strings. So one, two, three, four. That looks more like six foot, that one. I think these are six foot. To how to judge how big they are. I'm like five foot 10. So they're this big, the six foot, but hey ho, more to put on a trailer. I was going to think there's a lot of bales in here. Anywho, yes, these are actually oats. So this is what the oats look like. Look how tall they are. And then inside, if you can just see there, and that's what the oats is. So that's going to come to your porridge very, very soon. And this is the straw that we've got. You can just see a little bit there. And you can see how all of the shells are empty, which is great because that means it's gone into his combine, means it's gone to his trailer. Mr. Ball has a John Deere tractor, brand spanking new, with a John Deere baler. With oat straw, you normally leave it a day or two. The weather's been so hot, I think we finished this yesterday, and it's as good straw to bale. So we bailed it up. There you go. Oh. I need to go and get some cows, it's 25 past three about 15 acres of oats and it will do us for our winter housing cows do really really well on straw but we use both straw and sawdust on our farm some have advantages some have disadvantages it's the best of both worlds really we're gonna get on trailers back to our farm store it ready for the winter months we're just getting a little bit shy at straw as well so this is good right we'll catch you in a bit we start Getting our straw in. Dad's just finished his job for over the road, putting some grass seeds in, and then I'm gonna get milk in, get calves fed. I might just get a trailer worth before the day ends. The light in your eyes comes over me just like a sunrise. You said a scene turn in my gray skies blue. Just like you always do. I don't want anyone else. No, 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 no. Boom! I had no doubt. So I run my neighbour to ask if I could borrow the bale trailer and some absolute, my cousin has left his forestry kit in front of the trailer I was going to borrow. I'm about to kick off. Kick off. I'd love to have a telehandler that has a pickle bitch. That is a dream. So I nicked my godmother's trailer, which is good, it's a big trailer. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare to load with that, but hey ho, we're here now. 
I can't pick anything up with our manatee, the pickup hitch it doesn't work currently. Oh, dad did ask for the six foot bales. I was wrong. He asked for six foot six bales because they're easier to handle for him because they're a little bit lighter when they're in the calf building stuff. He doesn't really do a lot with the calves, but that's what he wanted. So he asked for six foot six instead of eight foot. I'd have gone eight foot. But hey ho, he's the boss and he decides. Right, let's get him loaded. Playing songs on a nail guitar, posing for your picture like a superstar. Yeah, come on. I just feel so good So Luke's just popped by to see how I'm getting on. Slowly the work. So he said, oh, do you want a hand? So he's gonna go get the man to and load up a couple of trailers. I'll load up one trailer, because it takes ages with his AA5. Gotta love it, but it does take forever. Him working with that man is gonna save me 45 minutes, like 50 minutes, so. Done, if you can see it, two to go. Air cop. Dad just checked in, make sure we're all right. Luke's just there with the Manny 3. So what I'm gonna do is bring a trailer load home to our farm because we're gonna need it for car building, AI building, you know, for straw, and then we're gonna take most of it on the road because today, one of the projects, oh, my brain has been going. If you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, you'll see that we've been doing a bit of measuring a lot of stuff going on, like a lot of stuff. Just trying to get my head around it all. We're all doing it at the wrong time of year. Things just weren't in the right place at the right time. And so we're coming to the right place at the right time. It's just become autumn, like weather-wise, it hasn't. But we're just gonna have to move forward. Quite a lot happening before Christmas. I need to get that concrete and done before Christmas because, well, before the 1st of January, we could have got grant for two years. And unfortunately, we couldn't do it last year. Have to make sure finance are in the right spot. I wouldn't say they're in the perfect spot at the moment, but better than they were. Anyway, I can't do this one handed, I'm struggling. So I'll uh, get these loaded up and get one home, and then I'll be done for the day. Made a little bit of a dent in it. That big one holds 27, that holds 23, this holds 12 plus 5, 17. So that adds up into a grand total of 67 bales done. We've got 148 to do, so. Just over 30, about 40% of them done on bale trailers. And we'll sort the rest of that tomorrow. See you in two. Morning sheep, what are you doing? Away, thank you. Free ranging sheep, I'm a bit of a, a munch on the Selco. Who would have sheep? It doesn't make any sense. It's a beautiful morning, it's about seven o'clock. Calves are fed, cows are still out. We let them all kind of come in as they want get all the calves done and then go around them like about seven half seven right so my job now is to unload this and the the front right on me 885s is a bit soft but it's not down so we're not doing too bad There we go, 17 bales here. I know cows are gonna come in in like two months, but hopefully we'll use those for the calf building, the AI building. We're not gonna put them in here. Well, a lot of people probably thought we should have done them. We might end up having to move all these before even winter properly starts. It's gonna have to be a little bit of a shake around. It's always easy to get jobs done in summer. You don't mind working till 10 when it's still light, but then when it goes dark at four, I know you can do, but it just doesn't feel right, does it? Right, I'm gonna take that trailer back later on, but we're gonna load the feeder up ready for the cows and then we're all gonna hit it try and get them all in done for the weekend today's friday you'll have one loading one carting one unloading have it done the straws in we're happy luke is off dad's taking the 885 tractor over the road so we're gonna unload them over the road where the cows actually lie we are gonna have to move them again it's a pain in the ass we know um, but then we're going to move the mid in over there after the third cut 
then put them in the mid in because the mid in won't build up till probably Christmas. They would have eaten a lot of the bales of straw. Open. It's like a greenhouse in here. Jeep on that. All in the shade. The loop's not back yet. What I'm going to do now is try and put a load of them just together. So it just makes it easier to load up later on. That's my plan anyway, because all oh, I'm just going to be studying and doing nothing. trailer to do and then we are done. I think it's a small trailer actually so it might be a trailer and one or two just oh, help me believe. there we go so that is all of our straw we've got a little bit to tidy up there well all this patch of straw we've got some more to go 27 acres of barley there he's doing the headlands over the weekend so we're gonna try and get them bailed it's going to rain on Monday, but it's coming in nice and dry, which is good. The first lot that doesn't happen every year. There's a neighbor over there with a the John Deere combine. We'll go check on dad and see how he's getting on and see how it looks in the shed. And you'll see where we put it. It's not the best place in the world, but when needs must. Dad loves the 85, he's done loads with it. Like I said, before we had the money to, we used to load everything up with it. That was an efficient way of doing those bales. Yeah, well, 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 didn't it? Well, when I can load up, Luke can cart, and then Dad can unload. He's mad for the unloading. And this is a great wall of straw. Well, 15 acres, 148 bales. Obviously, there's 17 at home, so there's 131 bales here. We're gonna have to move these again when cows do come in, we know, but at least we'll be, we'll be moving them. <laughs> Not far. So our straw ready for the winter. Our winter harvest of straw is harvest, right? Is that the correct way of saying it? Just technically we're harvesting it from the field. I always think a harvest is grain. When people say the harvesting grass, or chopping grass, in my opinion. The 885, again, proving it's worth the 27, 28 year old Manitou and the Hurleyman. Absolutely bottom it, no aircon, but it's got windows that open. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's one of the jobs that we do on the farm, but it's so useful having two loaders and then having Luke as well. The efficiency normally takes us ages, it's not even lunchtime yet. We've done really well, what, an hour and a half yesterday by the time we've got trailer loaded up. And probably two and a half hours today, four hours, 148 bales, stacked, moved, and then where they should be. Pretty good. Have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next one. Do it. Bye.